As well as modelling specific relief valves and piping systems, Fluid Flow 3 allows you to automatically size relief valves and bursting discs for liquids, gases and two-phase systems in accordance with API and ISO standards. Let's take a look at auto sizing a relief valve in a gas system. This hand calculation is for a butane and pentane hydrocarbon system taken from the API standard. We can see the design flow rate is given as 53,500 pounds per hour. The relieving temperature and pressure are 348 Kelvin and 75 PSI gauge and the back pressure is given as 14.7 PSIA or 1 atmosphere. The permitted accumulation is 10% and the relieving pressure is 97.2 PSIA. We can see from the hand calculation that a discharge coefficient of 0.975 has been used and the calculated relief orifice size is 3179 mm squared. Let's build the model in Fluid Flow 3 and define these design parameters. As we already have butane and pentane in the fluids database, we can quickly create a new gas mixture. For speed, I'm just going to define the gas by weight percent with a 50% butane and 50% pentane mix. Finally, we need to define this new fluid at the main inlet point in this system. We will change both pipes to 6 inches in diameter by multi-selecting using the shift key. We will make the pipe upstream of the relief valve 1 inch in length and the pipe downstream 1 foot. Now we are ready to calculate the model. A quick check on the results tab for the relief valve reveals a calculated size at MAWP of 3148mm2 which compares well with the API standard of 3179mm2. The size is just slightly different and this can be attributed to a number of reasons. The physical properties of our gas mixture are slightly different to that used in the API standard as we created it quickly using a 50-50 ratio. Fluid flow does not assume gas ideality, but solves for real gas conditions using an equation of state and you can choose from three equations of state. The API hand calculation also looks at the relief valve in isolation, whereas Fluid Flow 3 is solving this relief valve in an actual system. Note that the calculated size is always slightly greater than the calculated size at maximum allowable working pressure because of pipeline entry and exit losses. Note that when using the API pressure loss model, fluid flow suggests the next standard size orifice available which you can then consider in your system. In this case, standard orifice size P. As mentioned earlier, you can choose between API and ISO standards and when using the auto size function, fluid flow will determine the required orifice size. 
The same also applies to bursting discs. Contact our office today for a free trial of Fluid Flow 3.